So who fancies an opportunity to be on telly and to meet me? Yep, it is Sunday, I believe. And have I got an absolute funkadelic. Yeah, baby, yeah. Surprise for you folks today. Yeah, I know I put up a project on Friday. You're probably still watching that one. But, but this one's a little bit different. I've got a special opportunity for one lucky viewer. <laughs> so today, I've got a project that's going to be on... TV. Am I dreaming? That's television. Yet, yeah, I've been challenged by this TV show to funk up this absolutely awesome old penny machine. It's an all-in deluxe. This is what you call a French deluxe all-in. You're what the French call les incompetents. What? And the challenge is that I've got to bring it back to life. It's pretty old and pretty knackered. Let me show you around. Check this out. Look at this. I'm not too fond of this stuff. That's definitely got to come off. But check this piece out, guys. So basically what used to happen is, is you would put in a penny into the slot in here. That would then release a little ball bearing. You pr pr propel this up. Pr 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 <laughs> propel this up into one of these holes and then effectively you would get a nice token. It'll come out in there. So the challenge is, I've got to restore this and I've got to sell it. So I'm counting on one of you to be part of this fantastic TV show. I mean, Come on, who doesn't want to be on TV? Happy days! <laughs> so, what you gotta do is obviously watch the restoration. I mean, it's pretty cool, anyway. And the lucky purchaser of this machine will get to meet me, lucky you, and potentially be on TV. <laughs> You've obviously gotta win it. Now the idea is, I'm gonna put this up for auction at the end of this show. Now, if you're interested, I will tell you after I've restored it how you can potentially buy it and potentially meet me and potentially get on TV. That rhymes. Now, won't that be pretty funky? <laughs> now, ideally, this is kind of really open to the UK because one of you is going to be jetting up to Glasgow. That's in Scotland. To meet me and the TV guys in a studio where I can present you with this fantastic Lee Restored all-win. Although it's not restored just yet, but it will be. Now don't get me wrong, if you're a US viewer, you can certainly bid on this and win it. The only thing is, you'll have to get your butt all the way to the UK. That might be a little bit expensive. But hey, if you fancy a trip to the UK, then happy bidding. Right. I better get on, because this is going to take me a little while. But for you, it'll be over in a jiffy.
So there's so many layers caked on this. It's gonna take a good two or three goes with this stripper before uh, we get the bulk of this off. And then what we're gonna do is give it a bit of a sand down afterwards, but uh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> so there's the glass which I've taken out and the door which I've just basically hooked off for the moment uh, until we get all of this back. So I'm thinking I need to sand all this back, but. We're gonna try and use a stripper on it first. Okay, so I've got a lot of stripper on this and I'm doing a few coats just to try and strip it back uh, and try and minimal, minimal sanding as possible, but I think in some areas we're gonna have to sand it. Um, also, what I've got to try and do is try and cover, either put in a piece of wood into here or what I was thinking of is maybe making a little brass plate that kind of sits in there and sits over which might look quite nice. Let's give that a bash first before we start chopping this wood up. There we go. Now we just need to chop it up and make it the right size. So I've sanded this all back now and what we need to do now is drill some holes in it to fix it and then also we need a hole in the middle for the lock to go through but I haven't got the lock yet because I've sent it off to the locksmith to try and make a key so we need to wait for that to come so we can work out where we need to drill the holes but we can do the uh, two holes on the end uh, and then we'll obviously polish this up at the end as well. Okay so I just managed to take all of these rings out of here they're all gonna need a bit of cleaning up. They're pretty rusty, loads of pits in them. So we're gonna to have to try and clean all those up. And now I'm gonna to try to get all of this off and see if we can just replace this with some nice green felt.
Look at this, folks. Now, that is pretty nice, I reckon. Obviously, this is just the first coat. We're going to have to put probably, I don't know, six, seven, eight, maybe nine coats on this. And that will really pop out the colour. So this is like a French polish that I'm doing on here. Never done this before, <laughs> French polishing. So I've been doing a bit of research. Uh, and I think I've got this nailed uh, pretty well. Uh, I hope. Anyway, I'm sure all you French polishers out there will tell me different. But I think there is various different ways to do French polishing. But as long as I get the good results, then that's all I'm really worried about. But this is looking quite nice. I like whether all the old bits are in there still. You know, you can still see that it's a really old piece. Um, what I'm going to do inside here, I'm going to put some sort of stain in here. But, um, that is looking pretty neat. Happy days. Whoa. So I've got some of this braise now, what they call it, braise, and I'm going to get this stuck on the door somehow. So she is on there. Oh, hey, yeah, baby. It's looking pretty good. So I uh, got it all glued in. I had to do it twice, actually, because the first one that I did, where is it? Oh, there. Um, the glue seeped through. Where is it? There. Seeped through and left a mark, so that was no good. Rubbish. So I had to start again. A <laughs> uh, bit of a pain, but there we go. But that is it. It's on there looking quite nice so now we just got to start fitting these little bits back on it's gonna look quite nice in there I've got to figure out where they go now where do they go there or there <laughs> there I think that's gonna look beautiful <laughs> so as you know this badger didn't have any graphics when it was first built it would have had some graphics so what I've had to do is kind of source some graphics try and get the right font and get the stickers made up and sent to me. And here they are. <laughs> so that is what it would have said after doing a bit of research um, on the front of the machine. And then this is what it would have said in the corner of the machine. Um, and then we've got also stickers that say win, 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 lose, lose, lose. So we have our stickers now to put these badges on the machine. Happy days.
Okay, so next I'm gonna put these on. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so I've chopped in um, some dowels in here because uh, these screws on here were really annoying me. So um, I've just done that. I just drilled them, countersunk those screws in there and just chopped in some walnut. Um, obviously, we're going to have to um, go with the holes that are already there. There's nothing else I can do about that. Unfortunately, someone else has already done that. Um, so I'm just going to have to make do with what they've already done. But they're going to look much better than those uh, screws popping out, which were pretty nasty, these things. Which I did take out and clean up, but they still look pretty minging. All right, so I've given this a few coats now, French polish, but I think, actually, I really, really love this. I'm gonna be doing this more on some projects because it really is a fantastic finish. Um, I've got a couple more coats to put on there, but I think this is coming out really, really nice. Um, I've basically here as well, there were some really quite nasty, big old screws in here. Um, I got them out, cleaned them up, put them back, but they still looked a bit nasty. So what I've done is I've just put some dowels in, uh, counted and sunk them in a little bit deeper, put some dowels in. So, and they're walnut as well. Not quite the same color, but I think that just looks so much better uh, than, um, you know, what was in there before. It just, just matches a little bit more. You know, and obviously it's got the nice old effect, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you know, so still got all that to it. Um, but I think this is looking Looking pretty nice with this finish on it. Look at that. I mean, that is absolutely awesome. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start putting this back together. Um, I've got the door here. That's the back of the door. So we need to start fitting all these bits back on, which you can see we took them all off, cleaned those all up. That's looking quite nice. So we can get all those back on here now. This has had quite a few coats. As you can see, it's sort of beginning to get a bit of a shine now. So I think, you know, a couple more coats and I think that's fine. Again, this is the back of the door. Uh, we'll concentrate a little bit more on the front. Um, I have put a couple of coats of French polish on the back here, but it's not going to need massive amounts because we're well, never going to see that anyway. So, looking good, Billy Ray. <laughs> hey! Now I sourced these coins as well and got these in from France. Actually, they're not coins, they're tokens. And the guy that made this machine uh, is a guy called Pierre, is it Pierre? Pierre Bousseau, I think that's how you say it. His name's on the token, if you can see that. It's either Bousseau or Bous, something like that. I think it's Bousseau. So what a find, got two rare tokens for this all win. Now these were probably in, you know, a lot of his machines, but these are gonna be a perfect fit for our deluxe all win.
We have one lock with two new keys. Happy days. Can't wait. Get this in there now. We can hopefully finish this off. Oh, but it hasn't done that in a number of years. We'd best see if this baby works. Ho oh, ho, there's me ball bearing. Wish me luck. Oh. <laughs> More money. Another go. Oh, come on. Win! <laughs> yes! Right, so I now should be able to collect my tokens. Wahey! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I got my ball back. It works! Yes! I can't believe it. It's taken me absolutely ages to do this. And I'm so chuffed, actually, that it looks awesome. I love it so much, I want to keep it now. Obviously I can't. So this will be going to one lucky home. You'll have fun playing this, I'll tell you. So there she is, folks. I hope you like this one. Now, how'd you get your hands on it? You probably already noticed, some of you maybe, but this is already on eBay as we speak. It's live, the link is below. So if you're interested in winning this awesome machine, this has got to be the best all-win penny machine out there, plus, it's been restored by me. Come on. That definitely deserves a couple of trumpet blows. <laughs> now, if you are the lucky bidder winner of this awesome penny machine, then you will have the opportunity, if you like, to come to Glasgow, Scotland, and film the end of this epic new show. <laughs> And meet me, of course. Now, there's no obligation, obviously. If you'd like to remain anonymous, then you can. And if it doesn't fit into your schedule to come to Scotland next week, then that's fine. We can deliver the machine straight to your door. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. But I just thought it was a really cool opportunity for someone, if you're up for it. I mean, we could hang out, we could grab a bit of eat to bite, a coffee, have a chat, meet the film crew. Maybe we can set up a little challenge. Best out of three on the penny machine, takes it home with them. Then at least I get a chance to win it back. I love it so much. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I really enjoyed doing this project. Absolutely overwhelmed that this TV company want me to be in this show. It's not just about me, by the way. <laughs> there are some other really cool makers in this show, so watch out for that coming to your screens next year. No dates yet, can't mention the channel, unfortunately, just yet. But when I can, trust me, I will. You're gonna love it. <laughs> so the link is below, guys, if you wanna check it out, Please hit the link, it's on eBay. Bids are already on this bad boy. The auction ends, I think, tomorrow, so you better be fast. And if you are the winning bidder, just send me an email and we can make arrangements to get this thing to you or to get you to Scotland. Well, I'll love you and leave you, folks. Have a fab rest of the weekend and happy bidding. Yeah.